Hey guys, welcome to Recipes Tested. I'm Brianna Robinson and today for Recipes Testober, I am going to be doing the Magnolia Tables version of tomato soup. And tomato soup to me is just, that's, that's fall, you know? I'm a huge tomato soup lover. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that tomato soup just kind of fills my soul with all the goods. And I have actually made this before. This is more of a recommendation video, really, because if you're a tomato soup lover, this is like so much better than the canned stuff. It doesn't even cut it. I'm just doing the soup. I'm not going to do the grilled cheese sticks because, well, one, I don't make the grilled cheese sticks. I just do regular grilled cheese. I guess I'm old school like that. And I don't feel like you really need a tutorial on how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. So I'm just gonna review the soup since to me that is the star of the show. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and leave an Amazon link where you can get this cookbook so that you can make this recipe where you can get all the ingredient amount, amounts and stuff like that. And throughout this video, I'm just gonna show you the process of how it's made and go over how easy it is, how difficult it is, all that stuff. And at the end of the video, I'll give a taste and let you know if it's love at first bite. So if you wanna see how this recipe turns out, just keep watching and I'll get testing. In my Dutch oven, I added in extra virgin olive oil and some minced garlic and basically cooked that until I could smell the garlic before I added in one can of tomatoes with green chilies and three cans of tomatoes with Italian seasoning. The recipe calls for fire roasted tomatoes for all of it, but I really prefer this combination and it's a lot easier for me to get a hold of these ones. And then I added in some water that I rinsed out the cans and then some chicken base to make like chicken broth. And then once that simmered for a little tiny bit, I seasoned it with some salt and pepper and then added in the heavy cream. And I basically eyeball this. The recipe does call for an amount, but I just go based on color and I let that kind of come to a simmer. And then I brought it over to a big bowl and tried not to make a ginormous mess before I blended it with my immersion blender. This is just a lot safer than blending with regular blender, but you can do that, but it'll take longer. And once it was all kind of like really smooth, as smooth as I could get it with my immersion blender, this is my optional step that I think makes the biggest difference. So I take a fine mesh strainer and I strain out about a half of the soup. Cause see all that pulp? In the finished product, that's not super appetizing to me, so I only do about half to get the kind of texture that you see right here. And then I get my humongous coffee mugs. I always eat my soups in mugs and just ladled it all into my, my bowl, my mug. And then I cleaned it off. That'd make it look pretty, right? And then I topped it with some fresh basil and some olive oil, and that's it. Alrighty guys, that was quick and easy. I'm just gonna give it a taste and let you know if it's a little bit first bite. It smells so tomato-y. Mm. The canned tomato combination is like so perfect because it's immediate tomato, but then you like almost instantly get that kick from the green chilies. And I feel like that little tiny bit makes the world of a difference. Like I said, I've made this with the fire roasted tomatoes, but we just really prefer the little bit of green chilies with the Italian seasoning. I think it's the perfect balance of tomato and creaminess. The soup itself, it's not super thick, but it's not, you know, really loose. It's got that perfect texture. I love how robust it is in the tomato department. I think that this hands down beats the can of tomato soup and it's so easy. You should definitely give this a shot, but I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, testing out this recipe. Let me know if you make it down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I'll see you guys with my next recipes test over video. Bye. <laughs>